Hey, it's me. So today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be making a feather fan case. Now I've done a video that I'll go ahead and link right here where I did like a tutorial slash vlog of creating a eagle feather fan. Um, this is the fan right here. Everybody's feather fans, they might come out to be different shapes, sizes. Um, so you can actually buy feather fans. I will go ahead and link a couple sources that I have in the description area that you can check out. I am choosing to make my own feather fan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get started with that. I am sort of vlogging the process just so that any of my viewers who use the tutorial to make a feather fan, they'll be able to uh, take proper care of their feather fan as well. So um, there's that. Now what I'm going to do is talk about the materials that I'm going to be using for this feather fan case. I'm just going to call it a fan case. Ah! I dropped my little baby Yoda. I don't think the person that makes these um, is making these decals anymore. Not 100% sure on that. I'll go ahead and link their website in the description anyways. It's called Evercute, I believe. Um, they are a Mati creator that creates things uh, that are like baby centered, baby and child centered. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because I bought that just because I thought it was so cute. I just had a thought like, why don't I go ahead and stick it on my fan case? So we're going to do that. Meanwhile, I have here some cotton, um, just any kind of cotton fabric, whatever. This will be the outside of the case. And then I also have some felt. This will be the inside of the case. Now, when we have a case that we're going to put a feather fan in, we want it to be nice and stiff. So there's two different materials that you could use for this uh, layer. Uh, one material is cardboard, similarly to the feather case um, that I made. There were two videos actually where I showed you how to make a feather case, one with decorative fabric and one with just, um, just a uh, one piece felt you know um, I'll go ahead and link those right there I'm not going to be doing cardboard today I'm actually going to be using double sided fusible stabilizer I know that seems like a long title <laughs> it's basically just a thick stabilizing material that has glue spots on both sides that's what the double sided fusible means um, so this way I can iron the felt on one side and the cotton on the other side and both materials will stick to the stabilizer. And I think that it will work great for this fan case. Now keep in mind, it's not like, it's not like cardboard. I think it's going to be good enough to protect the fan. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be taking the case and like throwing it whatever okay so obviously an iron and an ironing surface you'll want some ribbon you don't need a lot um, and it doesn't really matter if it's like certain colors or decorative the ribbon is purely functional it doesn't even have to be ribbon really it could be any sort of string bias tape whatever and that's just because it'll go inside the fan case to tie around this spot and one of the dowels. And you're gonna need some bias tape. I just have some leftover black here um, and it's just to sew around the edges. After we put the bias tape on, then we're going to attach the zipper. So instead of trying to find a zipper that was like long enough for this project, in fact, I'll be honest, I didn't measure how long I needed the zipper to be before going to the fabric and craft store. Um, so when I got there, I was like, crap, I don't know how long of a zipper I need. Not to mention, if you have like a giant fan, especially like mine, like mine's big, 
and there are some fans that are even bigger uh, there might not even be a zipper that's long enough so I got one of these babies it's basically just a long roll of zipper and then it has several of these attached obviously you don't have to use more than one you could use just one um, and have it zip all the way around or you could use two and have them like meet in the middle I am going to just use one have it zip all the way around so yeah this is what it looks like it's just a roll of zipper that way I know I have enough and I can kind of personalize it to the size that I need there's a few different things that you can do for the handle um, I am taking the route of buying a ready-made handle I thought about doing something similar to what I did with my medicine bag uh, where I braided three leather straps so you could do that you could make your own handle that way you are able to um, kind of personalize how long you want it to be so you could do just like a suitcase uh, size handle where it's just um, I don't know four inches wide an inch tall just enough for your hand to hold on to it or you could do something longer in between I have here okay I have here a longer handle um, I chose this one just because anyway it's a very long-winded way to just say I like this so I can throw it over the shoulder and then have my hand free for anything else that I need to carry to the powwow so this has um, like these clips on the bottom in order to attach that to the case I have these pieces of hardware here so what we will do is um, cut out fabric pieces for the case sew them into the seam after looping them through this big hole I think that's it you know besides the basics measuring tape sewing machine scissors uh, thread um, one other thing you could grab is uh, elastic and your fan will be on one side of the case it'll be tied to one side so you could attach an elastic band to the other side you know on the inside of the case um, add a few stitches and that that will create like little pockets with the one elastic band that way if you have any other feathers like feathers that you put in your hair um, or if you hold feathers for other family members then you can stick those feathers in the same case as your fan uh, by putting the quills in those sort of pockets that you created out of the elastic banding let's get started i've been talking for way too long okay so um i guess the nicest thing about making your own fan case is the fact that you can personalize it to what you need um so i have here the stabilizer and i've laid the fan on the stabilizer um in such a way that i'll be able to kind of like use the most of the material that i can so i'm gonna cut around the fan um leaving probably about an inch of excess just to give the fan a little bit of room okay now that i have um this piece measured out there's actually no use for your fan any longer so i'm going to put the fan away so I actually need two pieces of this stabilizer. So I'm just going to take the one that I cut out before. Apparently stabilizer makes a great scratching and laying surface for kitties. 
Hey, Noodles! Meow. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Noodles? Okay, so for the felt, you're going to need two pieces of it. And what I did is I just took the stabilizer piece and I laid it on the edge of the felt and then just folded it in half um, as like wide as this piece, I guess, and then just left the rest hanging. That way, you know, that's just a little trick in optimizing um, how much fabric is used versus wasted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. And then with the next fabric piece, the cotton, we'll do, a, we'll do it a little differently. We'll get into that. Oh yes, and if you don't want your um, fan case to be sort of contoured to the shape of your fan, you could just do like this basic uh, I don't know, triangle shape. But that's not what I did. So here now we're going to do the cotton part. We're going to cut it out. And this part is a little bit different from cutting out the stabilizer and the felt in a way that the rest of the uh, sort of case will be cut out um, similar to the stabilizer and the felt, but on one side we're going to cut out extra fabric. Um, that way we can sort of like roll it into a strong center and your case will be able to fold open and closed. So I'm going to kind of line this up. Now this part is sort of strategy, you know, whichever size you choose to put the uh, fold on. If you come up with sort of an asymmetrical <laughs> shape like what I did, then um, it could go either way really. You could take the easy route and go on this flat side. That way you know you can add the extra length here and then um, stop it on the other end but I kind of want this flat side to be on the opposite end from where the handle is going to be because wherever we add this extra fabric that's where we're going to be attaching the handle and I kind of want to be able to set my case down on its flat side um, whenever I go to set it down so I'm going to actually go on this side for adding the extra fabric even though there's no clean like end um, up here in this corner this is what I mean one side is flat and then the other side kind of isn't I could have made it a very triangular shape but I wanted it to be more contoured to my specific fan um, so I think what I'm gonna do is add the extra fabric starting here and wherever this extra fabric ends, that's where the zipper is going to begin. So we're gonna start it here and end it right here. Um, and I'm going to add about three inches. I just have this box set here to like hold it down. I wanna work on cutting this fabric that doesn't need any extra added to it get it out of the way okay so i have the rest cut out here and now it's time to add the extra fabric the extra tab flab whatever um again I i'm going to do about three inches so this is where i stopped i'm just gonna measure three inches out And then move over and cut from there. It's okay if it isn't like perfect on the dot on the measurement because this will be sort of the center piece that allows the two sides of the case to connect so this fabric will be folded. The only reason that I'm cutting this much excess fabric is because I want to be able to roll it so that there's multiple layers in this center 
and it will be a nice strong center. So now we need the pieces to attach the hardware for the handles. Um, we just need something that we can stick in this loop here. So I'm um, just going to cut out two rectangles. This is folded in half so one cut will make two pieces. Um, and let's see, I have down three inches by three inches. was done on the fold so I'm just gonna cut that all right so there's these little squares okay so the next step is dependent on what you plan on doing with your fan case if you plan on decorating it now would be the time to decorate the outside you know if you're gonna do any applique or add ribbons to it um, as well as dealing with the inside of the case where we, we're adding the ribbons that tie the fan to the case. So that's what we're going to be doing next. I have my, um, let's see, I have my Baby Yoda, so I'm going to be ironing that to one of these cotton pieces. And then I have this thin um, ribbon. I'm going to be adding that right here and right here. And I also have this thin piece of elastic that I'm going to be adding to the other piece of felt. I'm going to do the felt pieces first. I really need to be mindful because these aren't symmetrical to make sure I'm going to be doing the inside of them. So fold them open, lay my fan on top of this, All right? And then I'm going to feed the ribbon underneath and then tie it just to get a sense of how long I need it to be. So this should be good. And then kind of the same thing for here. And now I need to mark the spots on the felt that I need to sew those on. So I'm just going to again, make sure that my fan is in place where I want it to be. And then I'm going to just mark with a pin and then remove the ribbons and sew the, like fold them in half so you find the middle and then sew the middle on in that spot that you just marked with a pin. Okay, so I have these sewn on and now for the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside now that I don't need to keep track. On the other side, I'm just going to add a little piece of elastic in case I have any feathers that I want to stick in it. Um, so this is really simple. You just um, cut a piece of elastic off to size. And then um, pick any spot of your case that is going to make sense. So uh, like right here. I think that this is long enough for a feather to be able to sit in the case. Um, now what's going to happen is you're going to sew, start by sewing uh, the edge on and then you're going to kind of just tug it a little bit. Not like pulling it super stretched, just stretch it a little tiny bit. And then once you sew that end on, then you're going to sew a couple pockets in. So just like <clears throat> sew on the end and then sew another thing here, another one here, here. You don't want the pockets to be too big or else the feathers aren't going to like stay in the pocket. If you want, you can take one of your feathers and compare, you know, um, kind of see how big of a pocket is good. That's why you want to stretch it a little bit uh, before sewing it on. That way the elastic is nice and taut against the fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that on. And then after that, I'm going to iron the baby Yoda on the, uh, one of the outside pieces. And then I'm going to check back in and we'll discuss the next step. Okay. So I have the ribbons tied on one side. I have the elastic with pockets sewn on the other side 
And then I have here my little Baby Yoda, holographic Baby Yoda. <laughs> And then the next step is to take these pieces and sandwich a piece of stabilizer in the middle of them. So what I'm going to do is take these and open them up. All right. And I'm going to make sure I have the appropriate uh, inside felt piece. So this one doesn't go with this one. This one does. So before we lay that down, I'll take the piece of stabilizer and then place it and then place the felt over top. Now I'm going to take my iron and iron each sort of section of this holding it there maybe I don't know 10 seconds or so just enough to melt those little glue dots that are on the stabilizer once I iron this side I'm going to go ahead and iron the other side okay so I have um, the sides of the case here we have the, the stabilizer ironed on to each end. Okay, so what we're going to do is work on these tabs next. So I'm going to set one of these aside real quick and fold it over with the felt side facing. And these tabs are, you know, if you did the same length I did, they should be three inches long. So now we're going to roll them until they are one inch long. Hopefully you can see this. I know that the light is hitting it funny. And what I mean by rolling it is it's sort of like, uh, think like a rolled hem, where we're going to fold it like so, and then fold it again. And then when we do that, it should be about an inch long, which, yep, this is. We're gonna do this on both of the pieces. Before I get to adding these tabs together, I'm gonna do a quick stitch um, right along the edge of the fabric uh, closest to the rest of the piece. So on the inside of the tab, not the outside. Okay, so I have both of the tabs here rolled, stitched, and pressed flat. At this point, I also suggest doing a quick zigzag stitch on the edge of the felt um, on the inside, so against the tab. And that's basically just because that felt might try and peel up from the stabilizer. So if you do a quick zigzag stitch, then you'll secure that felt. All right, and now we're gonna take the squares and fold them in half, um, right sides together, like this. We're gonna stitch along this long end uh, without stitching these ends. And then once we get this stitched, then we will turn it uh, inside right and then press it flat with the iron. Oh, and before you turn it inside right, it might be helpful, you know, if you have a lot of excess like I do, to snip off the corners and the um, excess seam or else all of that extra fabric is going to be inside of the, the handle thing. So now I'm going to turn it inside right and then iron it. Okay, so I have both pieces ironed flat and now you could either leave them like this or you can add a stitch down on either side. Um, I'm gonna do that just to ensure that it doesn't uh, kind of like move around like so. Okay, here it is sewn on either side. And I have the hardware here. So this is what these little straps are meant to do. 
the hardware hooks on and then we're going to stick these ends into the seam of the the two sides of the case Now what we need to do is um, kind of figure out a few things before we move on to actually stitching. So the first thing I want to do is take my fan and lay it on the piece here and then lay this one over top and just kind of make sure that these tabs are either like long enough to fully encase the fan or are not too long that the case would be too wide for the fan. Um, so this part is just kind of like at your discretion how big of the stitch you want it to be. <clears throat> so I think um, this is fine on the handle. It's a little wide on the end here. So I'm going to start with a bigger stitch on this side and then kind of slowly stitch smaller as I get up on the top here. Um, I might even just remove, like, start with like a, I don't know, a half inch stitch down here. And then slowly as I work my way up, I will start stitching um, kind of in line with this stitch so that it kind of curves out without any extra like tabbage right there, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then another thing that you want to figure out is where to place your uh, hardware tabs. <clears throat> you want to take your handle and kind of, I don't know, fiddle with it to see like, okay, do I want the handles close together do I want them super far apart or somewhere in the middle and then once you decide that the next thing we'll do is put this together uh, right sides together so like the sides that are on the outside they're going to go together okay I'll line up the tabs and then you're going to take the hardware tabs place the hardware in between them with it kind of poking out if I can get a little closer so as you can see the hardware is in this that way when we open this back up the hardware is on the outside where it belongs my audio plugged in so I'm just gonna talk to you through here so this is what I did um, the next step is turning it inside out and you can see the little hardware tabs I accidentally made one a little longer than the other but it kind of looks intentional so I'm okay with that and then here is what the stitch looks like that we just did. Um, down at the bottom, you can see that the stitch is wider. You can see more of the tabs. And as you go up, it gets progressively smaller. So to keep the hardware tabs from fraying, you can either do a quick zigzag stitch or you can take some pinking shears and then cut the ends off with those shears. Okay, so our next step is to put bias tape on each edge of the case. So as you can see, I've already done one side. I started up here and then I wrapped it all the way around to the end and then stopped it in the middle. Um, this is just a rough edge and that's because we're going to add our next piece of bias tape so as you can see what I did is I opened up the tape and then um, I folded it in half closed it and then pressed it flat with the iron that way we have a clean edge on our bias tape as well so now what I'm going to do is take 
the tape and fold it over, overlapping the old bias tape, or the old bias tape, <laughs> the bias tape I laid down before. And then I'm going to do the same thing and bring it all the way back up um, and around. Okay, almost done. So I have the bias tape sewn on both sides now. The next to last step is to add the zipper. So I already prepared somewhat the zipper by pushing all of the extra uh, zipper thingies, I can't remember what they're called, down to the end. And I sat here pondering for a moment which direction I wanted to zip from if I wanted to like start from the bottom from the bottom and then zip up or zip down this way i think i'm going to start from the bottom okay so my phone died and it's like charging right now um while i'm filming so while my phone was charging enough to be turned back on i went ahead and measured out the size of the zipper that i needed um and then i separated these ends changed my uh, sewing machine foot to a zipper foot um, and now it's time to apply the zipper. I'm going to apply the zipper starting from this corner, not right here. You can if you want, especially if you made it rounded, it should make it easy. Um, but I'm actually gonna start right here first and then take the zipper all the way to here. Basically the entire run of the bias tape except for this end. I know that might sound a little silly, it wasn't actually a part of my original plan. I wanted to be able to open up the entire case like this, but I decided not only would it be easier to unzip uh, without having to go around this corner, um, it would also be useful for during the powwow when I need to like set my fan down, I can set it back in this case, you know, if I'm like walking around to vendors or visiting with family and friends, whatever, um, then this little stitch right here should be able to keep this thing closed if I don't feel like zipping it all the way back up. That way, you know, the wind doesn't blow it open. This is going to keep it somewhat Closed. So that was a very long winded way of saying just listen to me. I'm going to attach the zipper and then I'll check back in with you in a minute. Okay, so here I have the case. I got my little baby Yoda. This is like a flatter side so it can be kind of like set down, leaned against something. Um, I'm going to unzip it very last thing we got to do is take the handle and attach it that's easy as hell let's see there's one side then we have the other side let's test out the case i went ahead and tied the uh the fan in okay so we have the fan in here Let me see if I can get a better angle for you we have the fan in here and then we have you know an extra spot for feathers I'm actually gonna take this out because I don't need to store it in here let's zip it up Okay. And yeah, it's not moving around in there at all. This is so cool. And then whenever I need to, you know, I, I get to the powwow arena. I need to set this down. I can just like set it on my chair. There's a nice flat edge here. That is my tutorial slash 
vlog. I guess it's more of a tutorial than a vlog this time. It was my first time making one of these, as is most of the things that I make on this channel these days. But I think it turned out really well. And, you know, this was purely for functionality, not a whole lot for looks. I got my baby Yoda, this nice fabric, but it really, it doesn't need to look nice. I just need something to hold my fan and keep it safe, especially um, not only during storage, but during transport, you know, riding the powwows and anywhere else that I need to use my fans. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you need to make a case for your fan, whether you want to make a pretty one or you want something that's more custom for your fan shape or size or both, or you don't want to spend the money on one. Um, I think the materials for this were a lot cheaper for me than buying a fan case because I had everything except for the zipper, the hardware, and the handle. I had the fabric, I had the bias tape, I had the felt, um, the ribbon, you know, I had those things with me so um, it doesn't take very much fabric and that stuff at all maybe like a yard in order to to do that so yeah i hope this was helpful or entertaining or whatever you want it to be and i'll see you on the next one bye my peak ramen